Welcome to City Live TV. I'm Danae Jones, and today I'm joined by the WGC Lawyers team. Welcome to the show. We're talking about the difference that you guys make in the family law space, and I mean, you've been around a long time, Eddie. I'm now making you sound old, but you're not. Um, well, the grey hair shows it. <laughs> <laughs> but you have been heading up the family law team at WGC Lawyers for quite some time. What is it that makes your team different to the rest? Well, look, I think, uh, Danae, we've got a, uh, a good mix uh, amongst the three of us um, in what we can bring to um, the work that's required for our clients. So we're a dedicated, professional, hardworking team. Um, we've got um, years of experience. I've been um, involved in family law for over 35 years. Uh, I'm a, an accredited family law specialist. Um, Kelly, who uh, joined us a few years back from New Zealand, um, has a wonderful attention to detail um, and is very good at document production um, and representing her clients. And Jazz, who joined us from uh, Victoria, um, having spent some time also in Sydney, um, comes uh, to us with some expertise in other areas of law as well, but um, has a passion for family law, so that's where he wants to be. So um, we work well together, we work as a team, um, and we use each other's um, skills to, to get the best result for our clients. Jazz, we were talking before and you were saying to me that family matters are not just black and white. There's so many nuances involved in the different matters that come before you. What makes you guys different in the way in which you deal with them? Um, that's right, Danae. Um, I think when it comes to family law matters, every single case is different um, and I think identifying those differences is a key issue um, and outlining the objectives from the start um, with a client particularly during a tough time um, is the key issue so um, that's I guess uh, what we try and do here at WGC. So Kelly I believe you have a strong attention to detail what's the importance of that in particular with family law matters? In a court setting, it is important that the evidence upon which we rely is correct and precise, and that's what I specialise in. So Eddie, in family law, there's a full raft of matters that come before you. What are the types of things that you're dealing with on a daily basis? We deal in all aspects of family law, um, and that can be married couples, de facto couples, same sex, opposite sex couples. Um, but generally speaking, it's uh, financial disputes, um, parenting disputes about children, child support, divorce um, and all of the other nuances that um, you come across in family law matters and that might be um, something to do with um, a, a particular child of a relationship who um, has some special needs and it needs to be addressed in the uh, in the um, manner in which you do your work um, in the financial matters there are technical difficult things like trusts and corporations that need to be dealt with. Um, so the full gambit and as a team we can use each other's skill set to uh, ensure that we deliver the proper result. So Jazz, I'm assuming that when you're dealing with family law matters it can be a really emotional time for your clients. Uh, absolutely Danae. Um, we find that with our clients it's one of the toughest times in their lives. Um, while we have to obviously focus on the um, the, the detail that comes with their matters. It's also important to be compassionate, empathetic for those, those clients because of course, like I said before, it's quite difficult. Um, and that way we ensure that the client is getting the best outcome. So Eddie, in all the years that you've been practicing family law, how do you do what you do on a daily basis? Well, Danae, I think importantly, the first thing is that we are compassionate and empathetic to our clients. Uh, we, we genuinely care for our clients. Uh, it's, it's a very difficult time for them. Uh, they need to uh, be satisfied that we're on their side. Uh, we, we need to be there for them uh, the whole way through this process. Uh, we need to provide not only legal support, but quite often emotional and uh, personal support because it is a very difficult time of their lives. Um, so we care, we're compassionate, and uh, we bring that to the table so that they know that we are doing the right thing for them. And so Kelly, why is it important to listen, in particular in family law matters? It's important to have a thorough understanding of our clients' needs, their expectations and their desired outcomes. We take the time to listen to our clients, understand them, their family, their business, 
and we tailor our advice to suit. So Jazz, what can people expect when they come to see you? Uh, Danae, when people come to see us, uh, we focus on uh, resolving their problems um, and achieving the desired outcome. Uh, a key focus of our team is making sure we deliver those things in a cost-effective manner. Um, running off to court isn't our first priority. Um, we focus on things like negotiating, mediating, and if required, we will then have to look at the court options. And so, Eddie, going to court is a last resort? That's correct, Danae. Uh, there is a financial cost in, in taking a matter to court, but there is also a very high emotional cost. And if it can be avoided for a client, um, while still achieving the desired outcome for the client, then that is certainly uh, what we focus on and what we try to achieve. Well, thanks for joining us on City Life TV. It's been wonderful having you on the show. Thanks for inviting us. Thanks. Thanks for joining us on City Life TV. If you'd like some more information about this topic and many others, head to citylifemedia.com.au or feel free to reach out to one of the experienced team at WGC Lawyers. Mm -hmm.